Welcome back. Well, at least welcome back. I hope you're watching. Uh, this video is a follow up to my last video, which was ranking the Beatles British studio albums from uh, my least favorite to my favorite or best, whatever you want to say. Uh, this video is going to be the United States released versions. Uh, these are all going to be on vinyl. Now, and even though it says studio albums, there are obviously compilations in here, uh, which they released in America. And the one album that is considered one of the official releases is the Beatles story, or a Beatles story, I believe it's called. I didn't include it just because it's like an uh, interview documentary thing. So, uh... They have more released in America than they did in England, so let's get right into it. They are maybe a little similar to yesterday's video, but um, also different at the same time. Uh, I'm going to start it off with, uh, again, my least favorite. Uh, it's the same as the yesterday's Beatles Yellow Submarine soundtrack. Um, like I said in the last video, which I suggest you watch that before you watch this. Uh, the reason I picked this last is because it has some great studio versions on it. But the second half is instrumental uh, orchestration by George Martin. And uh, like I said, there's only four new songs on here. Two other songs that were previously released, which is the Yellow Submarine song and All You Need Is Love. Next up is the soundtrack for A Hard Day's Night. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little old, so there's a little mold on there. Again, these are all the original releases. I know they're not you know, remastered. Uh, vinyl that they sell now so some of them look a little rough but the reason I keep them is because I haven't found a better version yet and also sentimental value uh, this is different than obviously than the British version this is more of a soundtrack there's a couple of um, orchestrated instrumentals on here of Beatles songs like I should have known better and I love her uh, one called Ringo's theme which is this boy and it ends with the instrumental version of a hard day's night um, all together, 12 songs on here. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight of them are, you know, Beatles originals. The rest are orchestration. And in the back kind of has the uh, cover that you see on the CD British release. I do like the cover, though. It's pretty cool. It has like that early 60s font, movie font. Uh, next up is the Beatles' second album. This is kind of a combination of the stuff the Beatles released on with the Beatles, along with uh, some 45 singles. Uh, she Loves You was on here, Roll Over Beethoven, Thank You Girl, You Really Got a Hold On Me. Uh, the tracks, well, let me let me go over the tracks that weren't released in England on an album. Uh, they were Thank You Girl, Long Tall Sally, I Call Your Name, and I'll Get You. They were released on CD for the first time on the Past Masters uh, Volume 1. Next up is something new by the Beatles. This pretty much has the songs from A Hard Day's Night that weren't on the uh, English or American version of the soundtrack. And also has the German version of I Wanna Hold Your Hand, which is, um, I know I'm gonna butcher this, uh, Komm Gib Mir Dien Hand, I believe it is. But yeah, this is, this is pretty decent. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these albums is they're very short. Um, everything is like, Every album is between 20 and 30 minutes. Next is the early Beatles. This pretty much um, has the other songs from with the Beatles, along with a lot of stuff from their debut album, Please Please Me. Uh, also like that cover. And again, this came out later. So it's definitely a compilation. I believe this was, uh, I want to say 1965. So the Beatles were around for uh, you know two years before that came out. Next up is the Help soundtrack. Um, a lot different than the one released on CD, the British version. The American soundtrack features just like a Hard Day's Night, a lot of instrumentals. Uh, like they actually don't. They just call it instrumental here. I haven't listened to this in a while. Uh, it's very very short vinyl. One two three four five six. Only seven tracks and five instrumentals. But the tracks are great. Uh, they are from the original Help. Uh, Help, of course. The Night Before, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, I Need You, Another Girl, Ticket to Ride, and You're Going to Lose That Girl. And Ticket to Ride wasn't on Help. 
split on the soundtrack. Next is a very underrated compilation. This one is called Hey Jude. This was released between the um, between Abbey Road and Let It Be, and it it captures pretty much their huge hit singles for the time. Uh, hey Jude, Revolution, Paperback Writer, I Should Have Known Better, Lady Madonna, Can't Buy Me Love, Don't Let Me Down, Battle of John Yoko, Rain, and Old Brown Shoe. The only downfall about this album is they have their later career songs on here, but then they have kind of like late Beatlemania songs on there, such as I Should Have Known Better, um, Can't Buy Me Love, and Paperback, well Paperback Writer was 65, but those, I don't believe those two should have been included on this. Next is another soundtrack, an album. This is A Hard Day's Night. Um, this is pretty cool. Always love the artwork on here. Uh, great compilation I talked about in the last video, so I'm not gonna say much about this. Uh, same, same track listing. Next is Beatles 65. Now this is um, pretty much Beatles for Sale, just with a couple tracks omitted and other ones at it like uh, I'll be back she's a woman I feel fine those weren't included on Beatles for sale and there's you know the other tracks aren't on there I don't know what, what was it about in the 60s like people took pictures of umbrellas up why never understood that next up let it be uh, for some reason, this used to be like growing up as a teenager. This was always the hardest one to find on vinyl. Like I've never seen it. So when I see this vinyl, I just love the artwork because I'm not used to seeing it on vinyl. Uh, of course, now I do. And then uh, it's a great picture there of the uh, so it's a little dark for the studio when they were making the film. Uh, yeah, again, mentioned this in the video. Uh, the only thing I'd like were the two really short songs on there, which are good, but not necessary to include on the album they could have added something else uh which were dig it and uh maggie may all right next up this is beatles six now this is um a, pretty much a compilation of songs that were on a hard day's night and uh beatles for sale uh, a couple, the one song in here, Bad Boy, was released as a 45, and uh, also Yes It Is. But yeah, great, great album. Uh, open, uh, Eight Days a Week is on here, which is one of my favorite earlier Beatles songs. Uh, Words of Love is great. I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, What You're Doing, You Like Me Too Much, Tell Me What You See. So actually, there's uh, songs from Help on here also. Uh, you Like Me Too Much and Tell Me What You See. All right, next up is the iconic American debut, Meet the Beatles. Uh, this is, you know, pretty much sums up Beatlemania right here. Uh, like I said in the other video, this has the artwork from Meet the Beatles. Oh, I'm sorry, with the Beatles. This is Meet the Beatles. Uh, opens up with the huge single, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Then I Saw Her Standing There, which was the opener for the debut album, Please Please Me. I uh, won't be long is on here. All I've got to do, all my loving, don't bother me, little child, till there was you. Hold me tight. I'm gonna be your man, and it ends with not a second time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is iconic. This was pretty much this is the first LP released by the Beatles in our country. Well, the United States. For those that are watching, uh, next up is one of my favorite compilations of all time. And uh, very, very underrated. The Beatles, Yesterday and Today. This is the uh, more famous artwork, not the infamous artwork that was banned. That I actually have a poster of hanging up on the wall. So the band artwork features uh, the Beatles in like lab or doctor coats with, you know, bloody pieces of raw meat and baby doll parts. Uh, which I'm sure Kurt Cobain loved. But yeah, this is amazing. This is pretty much... Um, between Revolver and Rubber Soul is released and it features a lot of tracks from Rubber Soul and um, also tracks from Help on here that weren't included on the 
Eng uh, American versions. So I keep getting confused with the American England. Too many albums going on right now. But yeah, it says uh, Drive My Car, I'm Only Sleeping, Nowhere Man, Dr. Robert, Yesterday, Act Naturally, Side Two, And Your Bird Can Sing, If I Needed Someone, We Could Work It Out, What Goes On, and Ends With Day Tripper. So Day Tripper and We Can Work It Out was a um, was a 45. I believe a Day Tripper was the A side and We Could Work It Out was the B side. But back then with the Beatles, they were so amazing that the DJs would flip either side of the single because that's how good it is. All right, now we're getting to the top five. Um, pretty much the same as the other video, although a little different. Uh, Rubber Soul is coming in at number five. Only because it has a different track listing than the uh, English version, which I like a lot more. This opens with I've Just Seen a Face, whereas the other version opens with Drive My Car. There's also two less songs on here than there is on the um, English version. Um, oh, and it's, it's Only Love is on this also from Help, which wasn't featured on the English version. Next up is Revolver. Uh, Revolver was the first Beatles album that had the same track listing on both sides of the Atlantic in Britain and America. And, um, you know, yesterday I picked Rubber Soul above Revolver only because of the that English track listing. But, um, yeah, I put Rob Revolver above this version of Rubber Soul. Next up is the White Album. The Beatles. Um, yeah, it sells this cool poster. It's like a collage poster that I don't really want to take out. I have uh, lyrics on the other side. And, um... Yeah, it's just an amazing album, like I said in my last video. So many great songs on here. Uh, I believe there is 30 songs total. So if you go for a Beatles album, this is the album that will have the most songs. And again, with the ending of Revolution Number no. 9 and Good Night, the only reason it's uh, not higher. And I believe that was two yesterday, and this was number three. But like I said, that could change any day. And I'm going with Abbey Road. It's getting dark. I don't have to put a light on this video. Yeah, Abbey Road coming at number two. Again, this, uh, this whole second side. From Here Comes the Sun to Her Majesty. You just put the needle on it just goes. There's not really any pauses. There actually is a pause between Here Comes the Sun and uh, Because. Uh, but besides that, you just put this on all the way through. Amazing album. Iconic. And of course, again, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band coming at number one. Uh, this is the original album that I've owned. That's why it's got some water damage there. I remember, uh, at one point I hung this up about my wall when I was a kid. A gatefold like that. Lyrics on the back. I believe this is the first album to print the lyrics on the outside of a cover. Could be mistaken, but I'm almost pretty sure. I, I don't, I can't remember offhand. I'm almost positive. So I actually don't have the cutout. Never mind, I do have the cutouts. So um, yeah, this was kind of rare to find this. I didn't realize I still had the cutouts. These are like little badges and a postcard. Yeah, you can fold these over and prop it up. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find this. And Sergeant Pepper still. But yeah, that was pretty much uh, all the albums. Uh, I'm going to show it back from uh, best to worst. Or best to least best. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Abbey Road. The Beatles' White Album. Revolver. Rubber Soul. Yesterday and Today. Meet the Beatles. Beatles 6, Let It Be, Beatles 65, Beatles Magical Mystery Tour, Hey Jude, The Help Soundtrack, Early Beatles, Something New, The Beatles Second Album, Hard Day's Night soundtrack, and finally, the Yellow Submarine soundtrack. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching, and um, 
if you did watch this video before the British versions, I suggest you go back and watch that. Although I also suggest that you watch that one first and then come back to this one. Uh, because I pretty much gave away the um, some of the order on the British releases. Okay, again, thanks for watching. Um, I don't think this is going to be the last video tonight. I feel like I have a couple more to do. Everyone stay safe.